If there were ever a time that Marine Rodriguez could not afford to have a setback, it was in the UFC Fight Night 214 main event against Amanda Lemos, but that is exactly what happened. Rodriguez's unbeaten streak brought to an end with a third round standing TKO defeat. She was not happy with the stoppage, but it's the way it goes. Nonetheless, and now she is forced to take a step back. Everything was so perfectly aligned for Rodriguez coming into this fight. We have Carla Esparza and Zhang Wali fighting for the belt next week at UFC 281. She said her plan was to win this fight and fly to New York and sit cage side and challenge the winner. It seems so perfect for her, but Lemos was the big spoiler here. Rodriguez took a risk by fighting back in the rankings. She wanted some big fights against people above her. They didn't materialize, so she took this one because she wanted another main event. She wanted to stay active, and it ultimately backfires on her. The upside for Rodriguez here is the fact that strawweight isn't a very deep division, and she still has a heck of a resume on her. We'll go on to see what Lemos can do in this division, but I don't think she is very far back in terms of being the absolute best. And one or two more wins, I think, puts her right on track to get a potential title shot, another title eliminator, something very, very close to that belt. I would be surprised if by the end of the day, Marina Rodriguez does not have a title shot in her UFC career. But as far as the immediate future for this fight card, originally the UFC was hoping to do Rodriguez against Rose Namajunas. Namajunas hasn't fought since she lost the belt to Esparza earlier this year. She is planning to come back at the beginning of next year. Timeline didn't work out for her, but I know the UFC did want that fight. And now that she is coming off a loss similar to Namajunas, I think it makes a lot of sense to pair them up, see who rebounds, see who pushes forward there. That would be very high stakes in this division, a lot on the line between these two. And it would, of course, give Rodriguez the chance to put a former UFC champion on her resume. So to me, we we didn't get that fight here and what would have been a different type of stakes but i love the idea of rodriguez versus nami Yunez sometime in the first quarter of 2023 and the winner takes a big leap in this weight class